you how we are charging our phones. There is no electricity again, but this time poor Mataung has a backup plan. A solar charging unit that makes sure the lights stay on and some plugs in her house work. My mother, she's diabetic, so she's using the injections to, to minimize it. So I had to put it in the fridge. So if the power is off, it's useless because it has to stay in a cold weather. I'm in a cold place. Mpoor uses a pay-as-you-go innovation that's providing off-grid solar power to low-income households. People pay an initial deposit of about $30. The balance, less than $60, is paid off in installments. It's giving South Africans access to technology they wouldn't usually be able to afford. Frequent pay payments that will ensure that you have a profile that will say, OK, you, you are a payer and you, you actually follow through with your payments. With that being said, over a number of time, you will, you will get to your deposit amount and then when the deposit amount is reached, you will be able to receive the unit. The state-owned power company, ESCOM, is struggling to meet demand. Aging and poorly maintained infrastructure is partly to blame. But these kind of solutions of off the grid is the only way to go currently, as we are aware that our infrastructure solutions currently, in terms of what we have in South Africa, will not be able to handle handle hybrid solutions like being on the grid and off the grid. Planned outages have been implemented countrywide. Known as load shedding, it's when the state power company switches off electricity at certain times of the day to take pressure off the national grid. South Africa used to generate surplus electricity, even selling to neighboring countries. Now people are being told to use power sparingly until a long-term a viable solution is found. Energy sector analysts say generating sufficient supplies of electricity for all South Africans will take time, possibly years. Getting as many households as possible connected to alternative and affordable energy sources could be a better and faster solution. Harumutasa Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.